Sesam seed to seed. Sesam is an oldest oil seed crop domesticated well over 3000 years ago. It is actually originated in India. The scientific name of sesam is Sesam indicum, belongs to the family Pedaliaceae. It is a rain fed, drought tolerant, highly self pollinated crop, growing annually up to 50 to 100 cm with an opposite leaf. The flowers are white, tubular, and the pods are called capsule, which is rectangular and usually four locule. Sesame is mainly cultivated for their oil because sesame oil is rich in omega-6 fatty acid contain 47% of oleic acid and it also contain 25% of protein. In India, sesame oil is a staple oil because of the presence of high level of natural antioxidant and India is the world largest exporter of sesame seeds. Field Preparation Plowing is the important step in field preparation. Before plowing, the selected field should be rich in organic matter. The field is plowed using a tractor. Plowing will break the cloth and bring the soil fine tilt and facilitate the sesame seed for the quick germination as the seeds are small. It is also helped to remove the volunteer plants. After plowing, the field is leveled. Using domestic animal, the field is leveled. During leveling, the channels for the irrigation is created. Through these channels only, we irrigate water to the field. Fertilizer application Fertilizer application is the important process done before sowing of seed. At the early morning itself, the fertilizer are applied. The composition of the fertilizer are 23 kg of nitrogen, 13 kg of phosphorus, 13 kg of potassium per hectare. And the fertilizer application should be basal application. Sowing of seed. The seed taken for sowing is coven sesame seed. And coven sesame seeds are intense, dark brown in color or almost black in color. The seed rate of sesame is 5 kg per hectare and the spacing is 30 by 30 cm. For sowing of seed, we have to dig the soil at the depth of 3 cm and 10 to 15 seeds are sown in that hole and it is covered by soil. Before sowing, the average temperature should be 25 to 27 degrees Celsius. The seed taken for sowing should be free from pest and fungal diseases. Irrigation. As sesame is rain-fed crop, necessary irrigation is not needed. Depending on the climatic condition, irrigation is done. After sowing, irrigation is must. It will lead to the better germination of seed. Before flowering, one irrigation is time. At the time of pot setting, one irrigation is done. If severe drought is seen in the field, irrigation is must. After sowing of seed, at the seventh day, the seeds are started to germinate by exposing the short, round, rigid leaf. At this time, the height of the seedling is about 3 to 4 cm and photosynthesis occur in that leaves. At 10 to 14 days after sowing, the seedlings are grown well by exposing the leaf primordia. In that time, the plant height will be about 6 to 8 cm. In the middle of the seedling, the white color short leaf primordia will be seen. After some days later, the leaf primordia are turned into full leaves. The first leaves of sesame are exposed. After one month, the seedlings are turned into real plants by producing broad leaves and rigid stem. The full vegetative growth takes place at this time. In that time, the plant height will be about 10 to 15 cm. Thinning When the plant height is about 10 to 15 cm, thinning is done. It is a process of removing the plants by leaving only 2 to 3 plants in the field. By thinning, well-grown plants are left in the field and some small-grown plants are plucked. Hand thinning is done for sesame. By thinning, we can reduce the competition among the plants. After some days of thinning, the fully erect plants are grown with a big and broad leaves of entire margin and the stem become more rigid. At this time, the irrigation is done. For weeding, no weedicides are applied. Only hand weeding is done. 
using hand how the weeds are removed because the weed will suppress the growth of sesame plant. If excess weed is seen, pendimethylene 3.3 liter per hectare is applied. Urea application Urea white crystalline in nature which is applied after one month of sowing. It is a major source of nitrogen. It is actually applied as a substitute of nitrogen. Urea is usually top dressed and it will enhance the vegetative growth of the plants. Gap filling. In a field, if any seeds are failed to grow, at that place a new plants are planted. This is called gap filling. During gap filling, irrigation is done because it will improve the growth of the new plant which are planted in that place. After one and a half month, the plants are started flowering. 50% flowering occurred 40 to 45 days after sowing. Flowering is the critical stage for the moisture requirement. At the time of flowering, irrigation is done. The sesame flowers are white, tubular and bell-shaped flower present in between the internodes. At the time of flowering, the sesame plants are affected by the phytoplasma disease called sesame phyllodi which is mainly transmitted by the leaf hoppers. If the sesame plants are affected by this disease, flowers are turned into leafy structure. The inflorescence is replaced by the short twisted leaves which is closely arranged. To prevent the transmission of this phyllodi disease, we have to completely remove the diseased plants or by chemically apply 10 kg of folate per hectare. After pollination, the pots are formed mostly sesame or self-pollinated crop because of the presence of epipetalous stamen. Epipetalous stamen means the stamens which are brown on the corolla. Sometimes insect or cross-pollination may occur. If insect pollination occur, the pollinating agent will be honeybees. After pollination, the flowers are shedded and minute pods are formed. The pods are called capsule, which is four locule and pubescent, rectangular, which typically grew with short triangular beak. The pods are green in color. At the time of maturity, it will turn into slightly yellow color. Harvesting of pods. Harvesting is done when the pods are fully mature. At that time, no irrigation is done and the moisture content must be low. At the time of maturity, the pot present at the top are slightly yellow in color and the pot present in the lower part of the plant are turned completely brown. At this time, the plant is cut 3 by 4 and then put it in a cloth bag and then it is dried. After drying, the plants are shaken and the pots are collected. From the collected pots, the seeds are separated and stored in the gunny bag. This is how the pots are harvested. After harvesting, the yield of the sesame is about 450 to 650 kg per hectare.